Hello everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and welcome to Inktober Day 18. As I said in the last video, I am giving you guys a little bonus video this week. <laughs> and I'm doing that because Thursday, October 18th, is the Badger Familiar. And since my channel name is the Artsy Badger, it seemed like the perfect opportunity to draw my witch Sona. <laughs> now, what is a witch Sona, you might ask? To my understanding, a witch Sona is just a representation of what you imagine yourself to be like as a witch, or what kind of witch you imagine yourself as. So you might have guessed based off of the title, but I messed up on this drawing. I really like the way the line work turned out. It's fun, it's cute, I think it communicates what I'm looking for, but I made a mistake in the coloring. I had this idea of making my outfit yellow and black to represent the house Hufflepuff because I am a very proud Hufflepuff but I reached for the stupid orange and I was so upset. Uh, <laughs> and so at first I tried to remedy my mistake and go over the orange with yellow, but it just, it, the orange was too saturated. It, it could not, the yellow could not compete with the orange. So I ended up just committing to the orange and I do a whole piece here based off of the orange shirt. And I was very upset about it at the time because I don't really like the color orange. I like the color orange in the sense of fall and pumpkins, like things in nature that are orange are very stunning, but orange as a color on myself is not my favorite. But in the end, I feel like I say this in every video, I ended up liking it well enough, but I couldn't let go of my original vision so I do end up doing it twice. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching me do it twice. Now I guess I should talk a little bit about this drawing and why I drew my witch Sona the way that I did. I actually based this outfit off of an outfit that I wore out to dinner the other night. Except for the witch hat, I did not wear a witch hat to dinner. And then I just threw my little badger companion on my shoulder. And then the dragon sort of spirit magic that's coming out of my wand is supposed to be a Japanese inspired dragon. And that is because I am actually an eighth Japanese. I'm not saying that that's something to brag about, but it's something that I've always been really proud of and since a young age has inspired me to be interested in Japanese culture and art. So that's why I put the dragon in there. So now that this mess up witch is complete, Let's move on to the real witch Sona. <laughs> on another note, as if this video weren't cursed enough, I lost some of my footage. And of course, it's the part of the footage where I'm coloring in my witch Sona properly. And it makes me really sad that I lost this footage because that was the whole reason of doing it over again but you can at least still see the final product. Unfortunately, I think the second set of line art turned out a lot worse than the first set. I think the tracing over it and just doing it again, I can never redo something that I like better the second time. That's just, that's just not how it works. But, I'm still happy that I redid it because I want to show off my Hufflepuff pride and I think it's good to, you know, get all of your 
ideas out on paper and I, I really wanted to do a yellow and black outfit and so I did it. If you stay till the very end of the video, you can see a side-by-side -side flip through of the two witch sonas. And that's it! Another Inktober video done! Thanks so much for watching! We're over halfway through Inktober, I hope you guys are still going strong, or even if you're not, I hope you're at least enjoying following along with everyone else's Inktobers, and I will see you on Saturday!